Shalom, damn it. This is Rabbi Sal Solomon with a rabbinical reflection for late June 2024. Just like new plots for movies, there's really no such thing as a new joke, just old jokes packaged in a different way. For example, why did the fireman wear red suspenders? Because he was shopping at Kohl's and it was all they had, plus it was on clearance. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because he heard all these people telling jokes about him and he got curious. Old Manischewitz, new bottles. So, here's a naughty little joke called The Aristocrats that's been around for decades. Gilbert Gottfried made it famous and they even did a documentary about it. But I doubt you've heard my version. A guy goes into a talent agent's office and he says, Buddy, have I got an act for you. And the agent says, don't waste your time. Novelty is dead. Nobody watches Got Talent anymore. I'm sorry, but no, 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 says the guy. This is huge. My family, my friends, stranger is spectacular. You're wasting your time, says the agent. I'm not interested. You will be, says the guy. Just give me a chance, please. The agent sighs and says, all right, fine. Show me what you got. Thank you, says the guy. It's incredible, I promise. So the guy claps his hands and shouts, Allahu Akbar. Suddenly thousands of Arabs appear. He blows a whistle and the Arabs start attacking Israel. They're firing rockets, they're launching missiles, they're hurling bombs and grenades. Meanwhile, one group of Arabs go to an Israeli kibbutz where they're having a music festival and the Arabs start mowing down Jews with machine guns and rifles. They're killing women, they're hacking up children, dogs, pets, birds, and they're shooting the men and then defiling the corpses and cutting off heads and pissing down their necks. Another group is taking hostages and they're torturing them, punching and kicking and stabbing and dragging and frog marching them into tunnels. And the women hostages are getting raped. Oh, they're fucking these women with gun barrels and fists and Korans and they're fucking the child hostages too. They're using dead kids as dildos to ass fuck the live ones. So there's blood and cum and baby teeth spraying every which way. Meanwhile, the living hostages are dragged into daycares and hospitals and elementary schools where the hidden Arabs are firing rockets and explosives to kill more Jews. This while thousands of other Arabs are butchering and killing and shitting on synagogues and smearing themselves with IDF soldier blood. But wait, there's more, says this guy to the talent agent. That's when all the college students come out and they run on campus with tents and banners and costumes and they're all screaming death to Israel and free Gaza and stop the Palestinian genocide while dancing around and crying and fucking each other even though they haven't bathed in a month. And some of them break into hundred year old buildings and smash windows, break furniture, crap on books. And then campus presidents come over and they just watch. They don't do anything. They just stand there like a 19th century French tableau. But meanwhile, the hostages are still dying in the tunnels. The Arabs are slaughtering every Jew in sight. The students are blocking highways, vandalizing Jewish homes, and jumping on subways to threaten anyone who looks like a kike. That's when all these other countries around the world come in and start sanctioning Israel and banning Israelis from having passports. And the left-wing media applauds this and weeps for the refugees whose vote for a terrorist government started all this shit in the first place. And meanwhile, the terrorists murder and torture and rape and kill and kill and kill and kill in a ritual orgy of sadism, savagery, and Islamic frenzy. With that, the guy in the office blows his whistle and says, well, what do you think? The talent agent sits for a minute and finally says, wow, that's quite an act. By the way, what do you call yourselves? The college students all start cheering as the guy straightens himself up, Jewish blood still dripping from his sleeves, and says, Hamas! Funny joke, huh? This has been a rabbinical reflection from Rabbi Sal Solomon, Temple Sons of Bitches. 
and Great Neck, New York.